I used to think of if I died in an evil place, then my soul wouldn't be able to make it to heaven. But now, fuck. So today I have a quick tip, which uh, most people know, but in case you don't, um, it has to do with your uh, XT60 connectors or 90s or whatever type of connector you use. If you're like me, um, you're in the field, you take about 8 or 10 of these with you and uh, you fly. But if you're like me, um, unless you have a really organized person and you put these things down and you don't know which ones are charged and which ones are not. So you got a bunch of these things and then you know you have to carry around something like you know a battery checker and constantly be checking which ones have current which ones don't. So um, what I've done is um, there's two ways you can do this cheaply. One is to get these little connectors that sometimes come with luminaire batteries. Okay and they go nicely right over the top and um, that's actually a really good fit but they can actually go too far and um, it's hard to get them off sometimes but this is this could be bought from FP, getfpv.com and they're actually they're called uh, they're for the QAV 400s and they're landing gear feet covers okay and they're like three dollars uh, and twenty five cents uh, for four landing gear feet covers from get FPV and if you really want to a lot of people just do that and that way you know when you're done use the you use the battery up just throw this over the top and throw it into the bag and then then the ones that are not covered are good uh, the second way which I think is a lot cheaper than buying um, fifteen dollars worth of these was to just get um, some regular old XT60 connectors and uh, they come in pairs so you know obviously you have the male and the female side of this and what you're looking at is the uh, the male side and so you take this side and this side is actually going to be a perfect fit right over the top so that's going to be a perfect fit the problem is is that the conductors they they, they stick out so um, if they could be removed wouldn't that be great because then you just have a regular old um, uh, connector c without uh, a cap, without a, any sort of uh, things that are hot that could short out with other wires that happen to be in a bag. So now what you have is a solution that's kind of neat. It stays really, really well. Um, if it doesn't, you can always melt it a little bit more. But what I'm about to show you is the melting part of this. So. Um, what I've done is um, got my little soldering station here, put my battery to the side, and I'm going to grab um, one of these units, and I'm going to simply, um, with a hot soldering iron, I'm simply going to, let me uh, zoom in on this to get this, so this can be actually seen. So um, what we're going to do is, is we're going to simply uh, touch the connector with the soldering iron. Hopefully that can be seen in focus. And what will happen within about, oh, 10 seconds or so, depending on what kind of heat settings you have your soldering iron on, is it'll push itself right through just like that. And what you'll be left with is, you know, well, this is going to be hot, but um, what you'll be left with is something that, once you remove both of them, something that can be just placed right over the top. So that's our solution right there. And, you know, you, you can make these um, loosen up or, or tight, depending on what you want to do, with just, just with heat alone. And so that's my solution. Um, it's somebody else's idea. I don't know where I thought of. Uh, I got this idea from somebody else. But um, again, this is really really simple. And I'm doing. You know, I've done about 
seven or eight or nine, you can see the empties that are sitting there. Make sure those have a place to land where it's not going to burn something like your lap or uh, you know a nice your favorite table because when those things come through um, they're going to be hot and sometimes they don't come right through so you have to grab them you know with a you know a pair of pliers make sure they don't land on your favorite mat and um, you know on to the next one and that's it so you know I, I would say that this is probably going to take me tops 10 minutes to do the 10 that I want to do and this can be bought online in groups of 10 for about um, two dollars two dollars and fifty cents you know for ten of these and you can see they go real quick so that's the that's the quick tip and uh, maybe somebody would uh, pick up on that that would be great but uh, it's helped me out and it's really really cheap too as you can see I got like eight or ten of them and that's what I need so that's it thanks for watching.